So here's what a lot of people want to know. Can you control Jeff and Lee? Oh, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Hillary. Yeah. She wants to control us? She thinks she can control us? Probably could. I don't know. Might be right. Hey, welcome. It is KKMS Live. Pleasure to have you tuned in this afternoon. You can hear us each weekday from 3 to 6. Also, listen online at kkms.com. Uh, while you're there, stop by our, our page. And there you can download audio archives. If you miss any portion of the program, including this upcoming one, you will uh, be able to download it and listen to it later. So thanks for tuning in. I'm Lee Michaels. And I'm Jeff Schell. And today we're going to debate Darwin's theory of evolution with respected authorities on each side of the issue. This audio, as Lee mentioned, will be posted on our site and available for download probably by tomorrow. And uh, taking the side for Darwin's theory of evolution is Dr. P.Z. Myers, who is a biologist and associate professor at the University of Minnesota Morris. And taking the opposing view is Dr. Jeffrey Simmons, a medical doctor, and is he's a senior fellow at the Discovery Institute. And before we get in the, begin the discru- uh, this discussion, I want to provide a bit of background information about how this debate came about. Uh, this month, as some of you know, uh, on our show, we've been discussing creationism because we are going uh, to visit the Creation Museum, which is located just outside of Cincinnati. And originally, we scheduled Dr. Simmons to discuss his book, Billions of Missing Links. And then on Tuesday, I thought, hey, it might be kind of interesting to see if Dr. Simmons would be interested in engaging in a debate with an advocate of evolution, and he agreed to do so. Uh, and uh, so I contacted uh, P.Z. Myers, who agreed to uh, debate Dr. Simmons, and uh, P.Z. asked me for uh, details, and uh, this was all taking place while we were right here. Yeah, while we're in the process of doing our show, and so um, uh, so we were kind of corresponding back and forth via email. I proposed a title for the debate to Dr. Myers, um, but I didn't provide those same details immediately to Dr. Simmons, and due to the delays in the communication channels between me and our producer and the publisher, who then got to Dr. Simmons, and then back and forth, so to speak. We just received today the request to change the title of the debate to Are Darwin's Theories Fact or Faith Issues? And so then I forwarded this change to Dr. Myers today at 11.30, and this was my fault, and I apologize for the confusion. It was no kind of uh, bait and switch or anything like that. So let's get started. Uh, PZ, Dr. Myers, would you mind beginning with uh, what I thought we would do is a five-minute opening statement advocating your position. Each of you will do that, and then we'll debate the merits of those arguments. You can then uh, each challenge a specific position of the other, and as time allows, we'll just work through as many issues as we can during this hour, which will fly by. So, Well, well first of all, just thank both of you for joining us. And, uh, PZ, could we just have you both say hello and make sure everybody can hear each other okay? Uh, sure. Hi. Hello. Hello. I can hear everybody. I have a little bit of a cold. If I start, stop cough, if I start coughing, back away. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Don't want to get any viruses here, right? Right. All right. So... Uh, so, PZ, if you wouldn't mind uh, just opening up, and again, thank you, and I apologize for that. Uh, if there's any confusion or or, uh, or whatever, I know that that was kind of a, a last-minute thing. But uh, overall, I think you know the, both messages will come through as we just, as we go through these. So, I apologize for that. And um, and we'll anyway. give you a one-minute mark just so you know how much time you have in your five minutes. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Just and then I'll uh, I'll ring a little ding at about thirty seconds. Let's put it that way, and then I'll put a buzzer at five minutes so we can kind of keep on schedules. That sound all right, you guys? Sounds fine. All right, sure. Good. All right. So uh, PZ, do you want to please start? Okay. Well, first thing I have to admit is that it's often very difficult to get biologists to debate these sorts of topics. We we actually communicate with one another, and, and we discourage our, each other from spending time with these kinds of debates. It actually happens. Uh, and there's a couple of good, very good reasons, actually. Uh, one is that there are such profound misconceptions about biology on the creationist side that we we often feel like we have to give a remedial course in basic science to bring everyone up to speed. That means we're talking about stuff that isn't very good for debating. For instance, here I was initially asked to present the evidence for evolu- evolution in five minutes, which really just tells me how unaware people are of the subject. Would you ask a mathematician to come on and teach you how to do calculus in five minutes? Would you ask a plumber to come on and tell you uh, how to completely plumb your house in five minutes? No, but evolution is a much more complex subject than either of those topics. And then the other problem is what I experienced here. An hour and a half before the show, I'm told that the topic of the debate has completely changed. 
Now, that tells me that there's an utter lack of professionalism and integrity on the creationist side. Now, that would be my side, PZ. Do, well, you simply don't do that. It's not something you ever do in any kind of debate is change the ground rules while you're running. And basically what it tells me is that people are unwilling to discuss the actual issues. They'd rather play games to avoid the risk of a well-prepared critic. And so, so far, I'm, you gotta, you gotta realize I'm really unimpressed. Well, I can appreciate that. And I, and I will add on the time here because I'm uh, butting in yeah. to try to explain the thing. It was, uh. Okay, but let, well, let's, let's just continue. That's, a, that's with, an aside point. Okay. Just continue, please. Yeah. Yeah, so we, we've got this new question. Are Darwin's theories fact or faith issues? Now, we, we can't blame this on the radio show host. This is Dr. Simmons' fault. This is a terrible question. Uh, you know, I, there, there, there's a myth going around that there's no such thing as a stupid question. This is a stupid question. First of all, I'd like Dr. Simmons to explain why he is so infatuated. Darwin published the outline of his ideas about evolution almost 150 years ago. We respect his work. We think he was brilliant. But we also know that there are many things he got wrong. We do not adhere to Darwin's theories anymore. He provided a rough framework, but in the last century and a half, we have filled in many details. It isn't Darwin's anymore. It's the work of generations of scientists. And while parts of it would be recognizable to Darwin were he alive today, most of it would astonish him. This isn't about Darwin. It's about biology, so let's change the subject of the debate a little bit. Is biology a fact or faith issue? But wait, we've got another bait and switch here. Uh, the original debate was to be a presentation of the evidence for both sides. I'd summarize some of the evidence for evolution. He'd tell us some of his excuses for intelligent design. Notice that in this new topic, he's removed any obligation on his part to defend intelligent design. He just wants to question modern biology, and I call foul on that. Biology is not an issue of faith. Biology is. We have a body of hard, solid facts and strong theories with predictive power that integrate that collection of evidence, allow us to test our interpretations, and generate new ideas and new experiments. Evolution is a theory that has practical application in medicine, agriculture, Research, economics, computer science, many other fields. It's powerful stuff, and it works. But we don't have any faith at all in modern biology. That's why this question is so nonsensical. There is no more faith behind modern biology than there is behind modern plumbing or modern engineering or modern computing. That's why we keep testing it and revising it as we acquire new information. We can form the theory to the evidence which is one reason Darwin would not recognize many parts of it today. We do not have a predefined expectation of what the answer should be, and we do not ignore or twist the evidence to fit them all. We leave that job to the creationists. So I'm going to ask Dr. Simmons to be flexible and change the subject yet further. We have the evidence on our side. There are hundreds of papers published every week documenting the theory of evolution. I would like him to explain the audience where his evidence is. Why should we regard intelligent design as anything other than faith-based reasoning, since he certainly has no mechanism by which his designer acts, nor does he have physical evidence for his designer's existence? Biologists don't have to defend evolution status as an idea built on the bedrock of naturalism. The onus is on Dr. Simmons to defend his claims honestly.